guys, I might be getting rusty. Have I still got what it takes? I am going to tackle some commission art at the same time as some Fiverr commission. We're gonna tackle three price points, starting off with $25, then $250, then $500. And just for fun, we thought we'd take three people with a varying range of gigging experience as artists. So Alicia, who's a full-time artist, she does commission work and a couple of days a week here at the studio, she's gonna commission the cheapest artwork. So what do you have in mind for your commission today? I'm thinking a breakfast monster. Obviously it's gonna be a stack of pancakes. His teeth can be like, maybe like strawberries or something. His eyes can be banana slices. Oh, this is the worst drawing I've ever done, I think. Some people have bacon on their pancakes. An ice cream hat, cherry on the top. Perfect. Pancake. That's my commission. That's my first commission. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna tackle this. It's a $25 commission. Should be a breeze. Now I'm gonna be doing all of my pieces with my Pro Artist collection. And we've got a couple of huge updates here. The first one is that this is closing sales. Orders are gonna end on Christmas morning. So it's not too late to get your order in and don't miss out because this is a limited item. So go check out the link in the description. They're shipping out the same day as the orders. So there is a chance you might be able to get it for Christmas or for your loved one, even though we're getting mighty close. Pancake heart, what's what's there that could go wrong, right? Specifically, the commission is a stack of pancakes on a plate as a monster. The top pancake is an open mouth with cut strawberries as teeth. There's maple syrup as drools, eyes of a banana, forked bacon tongue, and an angry expression. Oh, an ice cream hat with a cherry on top. Great work, Alicia. This is the weirdest commission either. Actually, no, that's not true. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to be a gigging commission artist before my YouTube channel picked up, and it was a huge help to sort of keep the bills paid as I was trying to get my YouTube channel to take off. In fact, I've done a couple of videos reacting to some of my old commission and freelance work. So if you're curious as to what the Jazza commission art experience was like, why don't you go check those out? I'll put links in the card and in the description. Suffice it to say, I'm not a pretender. I am an artist. I have spent decades as a professional artist and animator and game designer. So though it has been about six years since I've done any commission work, I'm feeling like this might be like riding a bike. It's feeling familiar and I reckon I I can jump back into this pretty easy. So there we have it. My first commission that I've ever drawn in about six years. I like it, but that's the thing about commissions. That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is if the person who commissioned it liked it. So let's see what Alicia thinks. Okay. So this is what I created for you, for oh your commission. Oh my God, that is so Followed cool. This, I basically traced your picture, right? Happy commission -y? Yes, okay. very happy, yes. All right, cool. Oh well, now God. we're going to compare to Fiverr. And they've got a pretty cool style. So they created this. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. $25 is a pretty cheap commission. So we commissioned two. So this is the other artist we commissioned. This is the piece that they have displayed that they can do. So they created this. Oh, that's so cool. So detailed. It's really clean. The, the hatching. Do you have a preference Ooh. out of this one, this one? and this one. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave the room. You say to okay. camera, I'll, I'll find out when the video comes out. I think I like Jazz's best. It comes with color. All right? Yeah. Everyone's done a good job here. Definitely nailed it. All right, I think that went pretty well, but now we're amping it up a bit. $250. Jen is gonna be commissioning it. Now, Jen is a qualified graphic designer. She's an artist who helps out here on the channel and she's a great illustrator. So she has some expectations, or at least she will. So uh, I hope they're manageable for me, at least. <laughs> so I think that, um, I know that Jazza really likes dragons. So I'm thinking of maybe like a storybook sort of illustration that's kind of leaning more on like tarot style as well, um, that kind of depicts like a big scary dragon and maybe it's like a hero's adventure sort of thing. But definitely like a landscape big piece that you would find in one of those like old storybook. I think this is an easy enough brief that it should look really cool and hopefully um, we get something back. This is a bit of a mixed bag for me because on the one hand, it's much more dramatic and adventurous. It's medieval and fantasy, which is all up my alley, but she's specified she wants it in a, a tarot card art style. So I do my best, but this is where I actually start to feel a little bit of pressure because I'm going up against someone on Fiverr who's getting a $250 commission. That's not nothing, that's a solid day's work. But I have to balance things on the other end on my side. First of all, I'm a very experienced artist and I tend to work pretty fast, so I'm not gonna spend a whole day on this. I'm gonna spend maybe two or three hours. And I feel like I can justify that because I know how to get a piece started and smash it out. Plus Jen's reference piece is really easy to follow. But then beyond that, the conversation starts to skew a little bit 
towards cost for time. See, so a $250 commission for an artist in general, that's a solid commission. But there's a conversation to be had as to where that starts to change shape a little bit. And for me, it's changed shape drastically. I cannot accept a $250 commission and it not be a huge loss, unless it's something I smack out in a few minutes. That sounds really awful to say. I am painfully aware of this, but my paycheck isn't just my paycheck. The way I run the channel and the studio is providing for a dozen people and it's not feasible that I could have an income doing commission artwork. So I feel myself, even though there's a $250 piece, starting to feel like I need to cut corners a bit because time is money when it comes to running this studio and I can't spend days and days on these artworks, which is gonna be even more conflicting when we get to the $500 commission. But we'll get to that later. And I think that'll be an even more in-depth conversation. But for the most part, I feel like the sketch and the line work of this tarot card art style came across pretty well. So I'm gonna add a couple of layers of color, a little bit of accentuation with some pencils and see if I can polish it up as much as possible, being a little conservative with time. $250, is it worth it? I don't know, but maybe. All of my feelings are irrelevant. The only important feelings are the person who commissioned this artwork. Let's see what she thinks. Jen! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I created for you. Okay. So you created a- Whoa! I think it 100% it captures exactly what I was trying to portray through my drawing and through um, the description that I gave. Okay, cool. So this is who you commissioned. This looks pretty pretty high quality. They've got a variety of, of stuff on their page. $250 from Fiverr. Okay. What, what do you get? Woo! Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay. This actually is, yeah, it's a bit different to what they had previewed on Fiverr. Does that feel like the same artist? I mean, I... they can't not be. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for maybe a bit more depth. Mm. I don't know, did something get lost in communication? Yeah. Or like, I guess that's one of the risks of commissions is like, yep. unless you're really directly involved in that communication, it can just not be what you're hoping for. Yeah, that's it. I like the five one, but I actually think I like your illustration more. Last but not least, $500. And while I did cut corners a little bit on my $250 one, I, I think it's time for me to step up. I'm going to step back into the shoes of being Jazz as a commission artist. I'm going to spend the time I would have spent on a $500 commission piece and see if I can match or keep up with a professional gigging Fiverr commission artist who costs the same. But first, I need my commission. And this commission will be given by Dave, who again is, helps us out in the studio here. And he's just starting his journey into art and illustration. He's got a lot of experience with miniature painting and has got a very creative side and a plethora of experience in role-playing games and a lot of imagination-based play. So I imagine he'll have some pretty clear ideas of what he wants visually as, you know, communicated from what's in his head. I think I'm going to go with the major NPC party for my D&D uh, campaign that all my players interact with all the time. All right, so I'm going to start with the big boy in the center. He's called Good Lad. Good Lad is actually a Warforged. A Warforged is like a robot guy. He's got a cloak that he often hides a lot of his sort of physique in. But then his other shoulder, he has, you know, your classic big pauldrons, big breastplate. All right, that's good lad. He hangs out with an Aladrin, really long pointy, like Warcrafty kind of ears elf. But she has like blue skin, like pale blue, and she's all got like, wherever she walks, snow trails in her wake, and she has the spirit of winter floating around her. She's rather elegant and beautiful. That is not the picture of elegance and beauty. That is the scribbles of a madman. And then the third character, Flint kind of looks like every Disney prince, short, messy, curly haired human, um, who has the confidence beyond anything he should have. He's completely charismatic. Uh, they all have cloaks, so he has kind of more of a cape-like cloak. A very gorgeously ornate, fairy-ish looking um, rapier. That makes me want to go with this artist because that is such a cool stylized, like imagine the three in like that kind of weird D&D setting. Yeah, this one, I like this one. I have to say, this is right up my alley. Like this is the sort of commission, if I got it back when I was commissioning, I would have been like, hell yeah. Lucky for me, I love drawing fantasy characters and role play stuff. So 
let's get stuck into it. Now, I had to shed some of my insecurities with this one. And when I say some, you know, there's a lot. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys here. I felt some raging imposter syndrome getting started on this one. I think that's amplified by the fact that I know I'm gonna be going up against a Fiverr commission artist who's getting paid $500 and that is their paycheck. I'm not getting paid $500 for this. I'm treating it like a $500 commission, but I'm trying to adopt the mentality that I had when I was a commission artist and I wanna see if it holds up. And this one's particularly intense because I, as someone who loves playing role-playing games, know how vivid and clear the picture of these things are in people's heads when they play games like D&D. And more importantly, how much people who play those games care about these characters. The most minute details gone wrong will crush the commission in their head as to whether it's worthy or not. So I have to get in the headspace where I care as much about these characters and these small details as I think the person commissioning the artwork feels. This involves quite a bit of time in research and looking up reference pictures and trying to really pinpoint what they're looking for. Communication is key, and this is in both directions. Because the worst thing you can do is make a best guess and be wrong, and they've paid $500 and they're disappointed. And even worse, if you promise revisions or remakes, well, time is money, and that's where you start to lose the value of doing the commission in the first place. But I'm pretty confident with my line art here. I took my time, and I really feel strong about the characters, the proportions, the poses, the composition overall. Everyone has equal attention and feels really substantial. And I feel really proud of the work I've done for me. And that's the other thing. The imposter syndrome I'm feeling is because I haven't done commission art in a while and I'm going up against a commissioning artist. But the reality is if you're doing commission work and someone comes to you, it's because they like what you do. So as long as you're doing the best that you can of your style, then more likely than not, they're gonna be satisfied. I think the conflict I feel is because I don't feel like if someone comes to me for an artwork these days, it's because I'm the best artist. It's because I'm a very well-known artist on YouTube in terms of what I do. And I am so painfully aware of how many better artists there are than me who don't get as much attention as me. So the idea of doing a $500 commission piece against someone who doesn't have as much of a reputation or exposure as me and must surely be earning that amount of money based on being a really quality artist scares the crap out of me and makes me feel like maybe I'm not worthy of doing this sort of thing. You know, you can't help as an artist, but self-doubt sometimes, especially when you're sort of jumping in the deep end away from your safety zone. My safety zone is content. And if I'm not confident in what I'm making, I get to goof around and make the content a joke and make my mistakes part of the entertainment experience. But I don't get to do that here. I have to make something that makes someone happy. And I really feel like even though I do pieces on the channel that I'm really proud of, stepping back to the basics and doing the best I can in really simple context is pretty scary because I don't have anything to hide behind. But with all of that said, I have to say, if I commissioned this piece for $500, I'd be happy. And I think that's probably a pretty good barometer to have. Uh, oh, we'll start off with mine. Oh my God, that is amazing. That's such, it's so nice to hear. Dude, <laughs> I love that. Is that what you had in mind? I would frame it and put it on my wall. I'd be very happy with that. There's another artist who's being paid $500 to do an artwork of the same character. $500. That is like super stylized in the same it way. It is. And that's the thing is if you went to this artist because you know their style and you commissioned it, you got exactly what you paid for. I'm a big fan. That's great. This is probably one of the best illustrations I've drawn in a long time and put so much effort into. It's taken me about six hours. And I have to say it was really refreshing and really fun to just dive into making something as best as I can. And that was facilitated by the fact that I was working with professional materials that didn't make me feel like I was held back in any way. And that's because I constructed my pro artist collection. There is nothing that will stand in the way between you and creating awesome artwork with my pro artist series illustrator collection, which has 24 professional grade alcohol markers and two trays to hold and stack them in, 24 professional coloring and blending pencils, six incredible inking pens and the best brush pen you've ever seen, 20 of my best illustrations for you to practice your coloring in with, and 20 blank pieces of artist blending cards so you can create your own illustrations from start to finish, along with a couple of pencils and a 
racer, I can confidently say, especially after having just done what I believe is a worthy $500 commission, that my limited pro artist collection has everything you need to make amazing and professional artwork. So go check out the website, the timer is running down, so don't miss out. And a huge thank you to everyone who has supported this whole venture. It's been so fun. Seeing you guys get your JPACs has been an amazing experience. I love seeing your artwork. I'm gonna do a video in the future reacting to the creations that you guys have been making, by the way. And if you go in for Christmas, please sweep me a photo or video. I can't wait to see it. And for those of you who wanna check it out, it is the best value that you will ever get as an illustrator for $100 is worth over $200, and it will take you far into the future. So, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what Dave thinks. Okay, now I've asked everyone else what their favorite is. I want you to just be completely honest. Good luck, sir. There is a, a charm that it draws me to Jazz's. It, it's got like a, a, a vibe. It's got a strong emotion caricatured in the faces and it really makes me want to look at it more. I just want to pour over it. But there is such an artistic quality of like a tapestry or uh, I pick both of them. Sorry, Jazz, or I broke the rules. Uh, you'll find out later. <laughs> and there we have it. That is the grand tale of how I've made three artist commissions. But now I want to know what you think. And please be honest, I can handle it. Am I a worthy $25 commission artist? Or am I more a $250 commission artist? Or am I a worthy $500 commission artist? Don't just say what, what you think I want to hear. I can handle the truth. <laughs> but can you handle future videos on this channel? Because if you can, you should subscribe and click like because I think, I think the results of this video are pretty worthy. Or at least, you know what? I'm proud of them. And I think that's what matters. And by the way, if you get my pro artist collection, I hope you will be proud of all the things that you can make with it. And I think also, if this video has shown anything, is that actually my pro artist series is pro enough to pay for itself with a wide enough variety of art supplies, but also a high enough quality that you can create art all the way up to being a professional, getting commissions and beyond. I want to thank Spectrum Noir for putting the J-Pack together with me. It's been a dream come true. And I want to thank you for supporting it and for watching this video. That is it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.